experience um, my students. Once again, I'm Mr. Kola. I'm very happy to have you on this platform. Because of the constraint of time, I'm here to take you the normal subject I'm taking in class, part of it which is social studies, year nine. And our topic for today, we are going to be looking at the world transportation system. Basically, we are looking at transportation. And in the same spirit, we are going to be considering the types and merits. You understand what I mean by merit? That's advantage. You know that. I trust you guys. Mer and merits of transportation. And this is as part of your scheme for year nine, GSS3. Now, what do you understand by transportation? To be brief, transportation is the movement of people and goods from one geographical location to another. Movement of people alone or movement of people and goods from one place to another. Transportation. Moving from up to down, transportation. Now let's look at the types. Let's look at the types of transportation. We are going to be considering the three types of transportation, which are road, water, and um, air transportation. First and foremost, road transportation. This is a long piece of hard ground which is built between two places so that people can drive or ride easily from one place to another. It is built between, in between two places. For instance, this is a bush. This is a bush. Or everywhere here is a bush. So they now create a road, either narrow or wide. After clearing the bush to create a road, they might tie it, they might not tie it. They might just grade it alone, and they might tie it. They ensure that they create a space in which movement can exist. Now, road transportation system is made up of road and rail system. Road and rail system. Because we are talking about road transportation, we have to consider rail as well. Rail is meant for trade. There is also an example of road transportation. The road is actually meant for vehicles. Vehicles like cars, like tricycles, like um, lorries, like trucks, and others. Other forms of road and land transportation are animal. You understand when I said animal are being used as a means of transportation. Example of animal of such, we have horse, we have camel, we have donkeys. In the olden days, donkeys, camel, horse are all used as a means of transportation. Maybe, for instance, they wanted to travel for a long distance. Maybe two horses or one, they will create like a, a place they can sit that will have tire. They will put rope all the legs of the horse or camel. They will put their, their luggages and they will sit. And before you know, they will start moving. They use that on camel. Most people prefer camel as a means of transportation then. Do you know why? They can save food for a whole three months. Like a camel now, a camel have a, have a reservoir in his stomach that he has the power to drink a water that will sustain him or her for three good months. That's camel. So then they prepare it to be as what they will use to move themselves when travel for a long distance, that they will still be on the road for about three weeks, one month, two months, three months, and so other days like that. Now, road and land transportation are animals such as us, donkeys, camel, etc. We also have the rail, 
which is used by train. Now, let's quickly consider the advantage or merit of road transportation. Well, it is cheap and easy to maintain. That is when you are using all these normal normal cars. But if you are using an, exact, an expensive cars, you know, to maintain them is not easy. So, it is cheap and easy to maintain. Two, people and goods can be easily moved around using road transportation. You know that. You want to travel, Lagos to Bini, Lagos to Delta, just you go. It is also used in carrying every loads, every goods or loads from one place to another. It is the most frequently used means of transportation we are using today and it can be found everywhere. You know that we use school bus to transport our students. You go far away, there are some students that will walk from their various houses from their domain to the school. Transport. We use our own school bus to convert our children, some of us from their various homes to the school. Two, we have water transportation. Water transportation, this is the form of transportation that is undertaken on water. Yes, on water. Road transportation is on road. Water transportation is on water. And the experts on water, they are always with their, with, with their lifesaver. Yes, lifesaver that they will put on their net should be in case of anything like that. Even the passenger, they will all put it on the net. Now, there are various forms of water transportation, which includes canoe. Do you know what they call canoes? Canoes. Ferries, chips, and so on and so forth. A canoe is a small narrow boat which has a, a long stick that the edge of the mouth will be widened. The rope might be coming straight like this, but the extreme edge will be widened so that it will be able to sail the water by diving it side by side like this. The canoe will not be moving, and by then, you just let people. With, a, with some of their loads, they will be inside the canoe, they will sit, and the canoe expert, either they sit or they are standing and they will be going along, doing it like this, by then they are moving. So, but that is what the, the, the long thing is called paddle. Paddle. When they said paddle your canoe, they are just telling you in their mind your business. Canoe drivers, when they said, they, when they use the, the term paddle your canoe, Know what you are doing, be serious, concentrate. Meaning that this is not what you can just be doing with the every time because of the life involved. It's not all the passengers there that they will be able to swim. And once the canoe swell, bam, you know what is stick is at stake. Now, we also have bigger sea vessels like sheep, which carry every goods and cargoes. Have you seen sheep before? We have some ships that is as big as like three, four story buildings. If you see the largest ship in the world, inside the ship there's an hotel, there's swimming pool, there's kitchen, there's so many things that can travel for a very long month. It can travel for a very long month. It can convey so many things. Now, what are the advantages as well? The merits of water transportation. Number one, it carries very heavy and massive, massive goods. Yes, they carry heavy load and massive goods. There are some ships they use to, to ship in containers as well. Imagine a very big container that they not even put. They, they, they have this uh, particular equipment that they will use. They, they will have hand the, the ship, um, the container. They will have tied it with rope. They will just use that as a man ship. They will just carry it. With the with the cup egg like this and put it inside the ship. Now let's imagine how heavy the ship for them to put like three, four, five, or more than that containers in it, and even with that, it will never go down to set it one to ship to sink. It carries a very heavy and massive goods. Number two, it is also used for long distance. For example, it can travel from Europe. To Africa, from Africa to Canada, and so on and so forth. 
Let's go to the third one, which is air transportation. Wow. Air transportation. Many people are always scared in terms of this. Basically, when it's about to crash, God forbid that thing for us. Airplanes and helicopter are some of the means of air transportation. As some, we also have jets and so on and so forth. They are machines that fly people or goods from one place to another. Aeroplane, helicopter, jets, and so on, and as some of the means of air transportation, they are machines that fly people or goods from one place to another. They are usually the fastest means of transportation. They are the fastest means of transportation from Lagos to Abuja by plane is just 45 minutes. Lagos to Abuja by plane is 45 minutes. And if you are traveling by road from Lagos to Abuja, it's 12 to 13 hours. That is if there is no traffic. To travel from Lagos to Abuja by road, 12 to 13 hours. And if you are going by flight on air, you will be using just 45 minutes. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Truly is the fastest means of transportation. Now, number two, it is the safest means of transportation. Yes, we can say it is the safest means of transportation. God forbid, plane crash or any other stuff like that. Truly, it is the safest means of transportation. If you have entered the plane before, they have their, those that will attend to you, they will, serve, they will give you your meal depending on your travel distance. They will serve you meal, either your, your, starting from breakfast, your lunch, depending on the areas where you are going to as far as it is. And it flies a very long distance. Yes, it flies a very long distance. Can you imagine for a plane to be on L for about 16 to 17 hours? Lagos to Australia. Go and confirm what I'm saying. I'm talking from experience. Lagos to Australia, you travel 17 good hours. 17 good hours. It's not easy to be in a place in, uh, in, uh, to be on air for 17 hours, just sitting down. Now let's convert it that you want to travel by roads. By roads. Let's assume we can go by road to Australia. Let's imagine the numbers of days, the days we are going to spend on the road before we get to where we are going. As for Nigeria, just within Nigeria, Lagos to Maduguri, then you spend three days. And then I'm talking about, that was when we have a good road then. But now that we have a very bad road, well, I don't know the number of days we are going to use from Lagos to Maduguri. That is by road. Same by flight, Lagos to Australia is 17 hours, 16 to 17 hours. And the last one, it carries a lot of people and goods at a particular point in time. Yes. Aeroplane conveys over 100, over hundreds of people at a particular period in time. I don't know, maybe we can have a, 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 a road, a, a road, means of transportation that can convey over 100. I'm so much sure, bet it with me, it will it will be full of total inconvenience and other stuff. Now, let me give you an assignment. Let me test your brain. Assignment. As we have talked about the advantage of the means of transportation, as a year nine student, I will have to test your idea, your brain. Assignment. Write. At least. 
3. Demerit of of the following of the following one no transportation two water transportation and the last but not the least air transportation my dear student please as I used to tell you always cultivate the habit of reading. I'm so much sure by now you could have enjoyed more than your holiday at all. And this is the time you have to be focused on your education pursuit. Very soon you'll be writing your common entrance, your junior WAEC by God's grace. So read and do all the best to impress your parents. Stay home and stay safe. Once again, I'm Mr. Kola Wale Oladejo from Messiah High School. Thank you so very much.